Folks, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. So today I was at work and I was thinking about Optimus, Optimus Robot, right? And I remember at Investor Day, I remember Tesla showed a video of Optimus building another Optimus. And I didn't really think much of it at the time, but now for some reason it popped into my head of why they showed that video particularly. And obviously you can kind of go back to all the things that Tesla and Elon have said of, you know, is there really a limit to the economy? Really the economy is kind of the, is, is scaled at the output of what labor can provide. And so obviously that's human labor, but at some point when a robot can actually perform just as good, if not better, which let's be real, it's probably going to be better than a human can at that point the size of the economy is infinite it's it's you can't really size it it's kind of bonkers to think about so anyway i was thinking about it and i thought man elon is a proponent of the ubi uh universal basic income and i think for a good reason i think he actually has foresight and obviously he could be wrong we could all be wrong i don't think he has a crystal ball I think he has the foresight to kind of see where technology is headed, especially with how prevalent AI and how much of a buzzword it's been over the last couple months, just with chat GPT kind of in everybody and everybody's conversation these days. And, um, and how the first thing, uh, excuse me, the first thing everybody thinks about is how is this going to replace my job? And so I thought, man, I think, this really does pose a risk, uh, no doubt about it. And I think, you know, you can go back hundreds of years and, you know, the, the work that you saw even 50 years ago, a lot of that work doesn't exist today because technology has been able to replace it and has enabled more efficient jobs, better jobs to, to kind of uh, become available for the average Joe. And so I really thought about how Optimus is going to effectively build itself. You've heard of the machine that builds the machine. And you kind of thought about that from a factory standpoint where the machine being the factory is what builds the machine being the car. But really you can also think about it as like Optimus building Optimus and just kind of in a sense reproducing itself in a way that continues to expand that labor. And I think at some point Tesla and Elon know that some folks aren't going to be needed any longer and not needed, but just some folks are going to want to, you know, retire. Uh, Elon talks about how one of the biggest risks that humanity faces these days is, is population collapse, how people aren't reproducing anymore as much as they used to in the past. You're kind of seeing it in Japan, I believe how population is kind of falling off a cliff. Uh, you see it even these days. I live in America where, uh, most folks, you know, for the most part that I speak to kind of don't want to have more than a couple kids perhaps, uh, or any kids at all. So at some point that's going to come back and bite us in the butt where there isn't going to be enough labor to go around and you're going to have to rely on technology, on artificial intelligence. And I think that's where Optimus comes in, where Tesla, if they want to continue to expand their capacity to 20 million vehicles per year by 2030 or whenever it's going to be they're going to have to find the labor necessary to execute on this plan. And I think Tesla, Elon, and it doesn't seem that hard to see. Maybe for us, average Joes, at some point down the road in the mid-decade, we'll, we'll kind of get a better idea of, wow, we really are kind of facing a population collapse. Uh, I think they have the foresight to say, hey, let's start building Optimus now, even though... Wall Street and the rest of the world who don't follow Tesla as much as you and I might, even though they might think we're crazy uh, as to why we're spending R&D into this sort of development. I think they're seeing that at some point they're going to need labor coming from this technology as opposed to humans because there won't be enough to go around. So it's kind of interesting to see, even though Tesla's doing this and maybe 10 years from now, Optimus is at a point where it can not only build itself, but it can keep factories up and running and not only the current factories, but 
new factories down the road as well. Uh, maybe these, these Optimus robots can also build new factories as well. But I just think that other organizations are going to really struggle uh, to find the labor necessary to carry out whatever roadmap they're working on. And I think that's where there might be a huge opportunity for Tesla from a robotics and artificial intelligence perspective where this is another opportunity where Tesla can capitalize on tapping into a new market, uh, pr literally providing labor for companies, organizations that can't find any. I mean, they thought it was hard to find labor during the pandemic, but now 10 years from now, 15, 20 years from now, when population does kind of significantly decrease, I mean, hopefully we continue growing, but or at least stay steady, but as population continues to decrease, I think uh, most companies around the world are gonna start relying on Tesla for for Optimus to just keep, keep the business running. So anyway, I think I kind of rambled on a little bit there, but I just kind of, it was, running through these scenarios in my head and I thought, man, I, I kind of want to get this, get this out there. So that way, even if it's just me watching this video, you know, 15 years from now, like just looking back and saying, wow, I was either completely super wrong or, you know, to some extent I got a little bit right. But I do think, uh, nevertheless, Optimus is going to play, play a huge role 10, 15, 20 years from now where a lot of people aren't going to want to work. I mean, even these days, a lot of folks don't want to work. They want to rely on government, you know, that's a whole Whole another rabbit hole to go down but uh for the most part most people are going to work 15 20 years from now where hopefully we live in, in in a time of abundance where artificial intelligence and robotics as they converge they can really provide all the necessities of human life and it'll almost be kind of like the garden of eden where whatever we need is kind of like our at our disposal and we don't really have to uh I don't want to say work um, because I feel like work is, is essential for humans to have a sense of purpose. But uh, for the most part, I think um, humans aren't going to necessarily do the toiling down the road should everything pan out the way that Elon is aspiring. So I don't know. Those are just my thoughts. It's, again, kind of a brain dump, but I wanted to get it out there because artificial intelligence over the last just few months kind of really blasting off and everybody's talking about it these days uh it's march 2023 as at the time of this recording it's it's really going to continue accelerating at an exponential rate it's not going to be linear even though our brains are kind of wired to only think linearly this is really going to grow exponentially over the next two years i think by 2025 and that's less than two years from now less than 24 months it's going to be bonkers when we see how far we've come from an artificial intelligence perspective. Hopefully by then, Tesla's artificial intelligence and their vehicles, i.e. full self-driving, will be kind of fully fleshed out. Multiple orders of magnitude, safer than an average human driver, all that good stuff. But yeah, for the most part, I think uh, we'll look back literally just a year from now, two years from now, and think, man, we've gone so long, so far, I mean, from from where we were even just a year ago from an artificial intelligence perspective. And it's it's kind of crazy to think about. I don't have the creative mindset to kind of see where we're going exactly. Don't have a crystal ball or anything like that. But for the most part, I'm just, I'm just excited to be on this ride. What a time to be alive. I'm excited. I'm excited for what's to come. Hopefully uh, with Elon and Tesla kind of leading the charge, it's going to be a good outcome for, for humanity. Anyway, that was just a brain dump of kind of where my thoughts were at the moment. I wanted to get it out there. Nothing scripted, nothing organized, as you can tell. I've kind of been, you know, umming and humming here and there, but super excited about what the future holds. Uh, it's just a matter of doing our part. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we look back 10, year, 10 years from now and and see what better place uh, we are at at that point versus where we might be today. So anyway, that was pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. I know I rambled on there for a little bit, but uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one.